हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चंस और इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चंस ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर थ्री पेयर ऑफ लीनियर इक्वेशन टू वेरिएबल दिस क्वेश्चंस आर इंपॉर्टेंट एज दे आर दे आर आस्ड इन बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन दिस आर एक्स्ट्रा बिकॉज दे आर नॉट गिवन इन योर टेक्स्ट बुक ऑल्सो सो आई एम टेलिंग गिविंग यू एक्स्ट्रा क्वेश्चन विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन दिस पार्ट थ्री आई मेड पार्ट वन एंड टू यू कैन वॉट दैट ऑल्सो इन दिस पार्ट थ्री अगेन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व फ्यू क्वेश्चन लेट अ स्टार्ट विथ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सॉल्व 99x plus 101y equals to 499 and 101x plus 99y equals to 501. Everybody will think that this question is simple. If you will try to eliminate this or substitute this or if you try to multiply means find out by cross multiplication method also, then also this sum is very much time consuming. It will take you more than 10 minutes for solving. so i am going to give you one short trick how to solve this type of question so first what you have to do you have to add this two equation look i am adding give this equation 1 and 2 adding 1 and 2 we get means if we add this come on 99x plus 101 you will get 200x plus 200y equals to 1000 Directly, if you will add, directly take out two hundred common x plus y equals two thousand. So you can cancel. If this will go here, x plus y equals two thousand by two hundred. It's five. So you got one equation x plus y equals two five. So actually, we had shortened this equation. Take it as equation number three. You can say one only. Because it is short form now, and we are going to use this. So you can say equation number three. Now we are going to subtract this. Look, subtracting two from one means this minus. This. So ninety nine minus one zero one. You this will get you will get minus two x. Then one zero one y minus ninety nine plus two y. And here also this minus this so minus two. Now you can take two common minus x plus two y sorry y equals to minus two. This will go here a minus x plus y equals to minus two by two. You will get minus x plus y equals to minus one. Now again take it as equation number four. Now we had shortened the equation by adding and subtracting. Now we can eliminate or substitute. Now elimination will be easy for us. Minus x plus y equals to minus one. Now add this. This will get cancelled. You will get two y equals to four. So y will be equal to four by two two. So you got y. Now keep this y in any one of the equation. I am keeping in this one. X plus two equals to five. So directly x will be equal to Y minus two x will be equal to three. So this way we can solve this sum. Moving toward question number two, the sum of the numerator and denominator of a fraction is four more than twice the number, twice the numerator. Sorry, if three is added to each of the numerator and denominator, their ratio becomes two by two is two three. Find the fraction. So they said the sum of the numerator and denominator of a fraction is four more than twice the number. So first, suppose your fraction. Suppose fraction is x upon y means x is the numerator and y is the denominator. Now they said sum of the numerator and denominator. So x plus y equals to. Four more than twice the numerator means equals two x plus four twice the numerator and still four more. So you will get one equation from this. You can take this whole number zero equals two x minus x minus y plus four. So x minus y or plus four you can take it here. So x minus y equals two and equation number one. Now. Moving towards your next, if three is added to each of the numerator and denominator, the ratio becomes two is to three. Find the 
means now we have to add 3 to the numerator this is our fraction and if 3 is added to both 3 x plus 3 and y plus 3 ratio becomes 2 by 3 so you, you will get 2 by 3 as your answer now multiply 3x plus 9 equals to 2y this will multiply here and this will go there 2y plus 6 again you can take this here 3x minus 2y equals to 6 minus 9 so 3x minus 2y equals to minus 3 now you get this two equation now you can eliminate or substitute uh, or substitute whatever you like I think substitution will be easy for us because this minus 4 plus y equals to x now take this minus 4 plus y as the value of x in this 3 into bracket minus 4 plus y minus 2y equals to 3 sorry minus 3 so minus 12 plus 3y minus 2y equals to minus 3 this to a like term so y equals to minus 3 plus 12 so y will be equal to 9 now you got y as 9 keep it here minus 4 plus 9 equals to x so 5 equals to x so your fraction we want this we don't want x and y we want that whole fraction so our fraction will be 5 by 9 this will be our fraction so this way we can solve this sum moving toward question number 3 find the value of a so that the point 3 comma a lies on the line represented by 2x minus 3y equals to 5 means they are telling that you are having one line on this is the equation of that line so from this equation we can make one line on the graph and this point 3 comma a is lying on that line only so this will be our x coordinate and y coordinate of that line so directly we can find out the value of a by putting this in this equation look here this was our lines equation 2x minus 3y and this is the coordinate of point which lies on this line so you can take x as 3 2 into 3 minus 3 into a is your y equals to 5 now 6 minus 3a equals to 5 take this 3a on that side or you can say minus 3a sorry 6 on that side minus 3a is equals to 5 minus 6 minus 3a is equals to minus 1 minus minus will get cancelled a will be equal to 1 by 3 so this way we can solve this sum thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel i am going to bring more such videos for you in my next video i am going to tell you about few important questions of chapter number four thank you so much